We're back cooking up more advice. I posted one of these videos yesterday, and I'm going to post another one today. And I might even post another one tomorrow because I enjoy giving you advice. We got some awesome questions today. They sent in their questions through the email on the screen right now. You can also find that email in the description if you want to send me some questions or ask me for advice and possibly be in my next video. And we have some good news. Ava, from one of my last videos, she told me that she was feeling depressed and her mom was super rude to her. Well, she messaged me back and she told me that she was feeling a lot better and that my advice helped her. So that's just awesome. Hopefully I can help some more people in this video. I need some advice. Last year, I was a very annoying person and people did not like me at my school. So now I'm trying to fix myself so people don't hate me. But here is the problem. I don't know how to change myself in the right direction for people to like me. I would appreciate it if you could give me some advice. Now, I'm not even going to lie. I hate this question. I hate that you're trying to fix yourself for other people. I hate that you're trying to change yourself so other people will like you. You are you. You shouldn't try to be somebody that you're not to please some people that you won't know in the next five years. Let me guess. You're probably in like seventh grade, right? Well, in like five years, you're going to be graduating high school and you won't know any of those people. So you're going to change your whole personality to please people that you won't know. Now, if you really want some advice, my advice would to be ignore what they think. If they truly think you're annoying, then that's their problem. You didn't have a problem with how annoying you were until people had a problem with it. So if you thought you were a good person, but other people were telling you otherwise, just be yourself. Be a good person. Does your mom and dad like you? Do you have siblings? Do they like you? If all of them like you, then the people at your school are the problem, not you. Now, I can relate to this. I used to be annoying. Like, 7th grade, 8th grade, I was that weird kid in class that was always making people laugh and doing weird stuff in the, in the classroom, stuff like that. And... Over time, I kind of matured. Like, sophomore year in high school, I kind of stopped goofing around and, you know, went on my own path. Focused on YouTube, focused on, you know, other stuff to make money, have good friends, stuff like that. I didn't really focus on being a goofball, but I didn't change myself for other people. I kind of just matured over time. And I'm pretty sure you're going to mature too because most people do start to mature around that high school year, you know what I mean? So... Give it some time. Don't try to change yourself for other people because that's honestly stupid. You just need to be yourself. And if people don't like you, they can go away. Dear DJ Cook, first of all, I love your videos. Keep it up. And recently, my great-grandmother died to COVID-19. She was very good and very kind to me. And I have not dealt with many deaths in my family before. Can you please give me some advice about dealing with death? Both of my mom's parents are dead. And my dad, his mom died. So I have three grandparents that have died and only one of them is still alive. And that happened when I was around, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, which is not too young to where you don't understand death, but it's not old to where like it truly affects you. 13 is the age where, you know, you start to realize, oh, this is real. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was hard at first, you know, going to the funerals, going to the visitation, stuff like that. It's hard to see everyone there weeping and crying and just being all sad. But a month goes by and you don't think of it as much. You know, every once in a while you'll see something that will remind you of your grandma and you'll get sad. And then a couple more months go by and then you don't really think of it at all. Every once in a while, and that's rare, something will come up and you'll be like, oh, I miss her. But then after like six months, the only time you think of your grandma, you think of the good times. Like you might get reminded of... Oh, I remember when we used to ride around in the car and you'd be smiling thinking about it and you don't even remember that she died. Basically, what I'm trying to say is as time goes on, you tend to just think of the good times and you don't think of how they died. So what I'd say to you is I'd just say, give it time, you know, allow months to go by. And after a while, you'll forget about all this and you'll just remember her as a great person. Hey, DJ. I'm a high school student. I'll be in 10th grade next year, and I have trouble making friends, or at least loyal friends. I won't go too in-depth with this story, but back in 7th and 8th grade, I had a group of people that I thought were my friends. I hung out with them every single day for two whole years, and it got to the point where I was going to their houses almost weekly. We were all just a big posse of buddies, but that changed when an incident happened where they were bullying me about minor problems that I had with my speech and appearance. 
those same people that I thought were my best friends ended up being absolute assholes. I've been lonely ever since then, and while I talk to my best friend on PlayStation Chat every day, I still find it hard to make friends ever since that event back in 8th grade happened. I know that this past school year hasn't been the easiest for everyone due to the pandemic, but when I went to school for my finals, I tried to talk to people and they all just kind of shrugged me off and walked away, not caring about what I was saying. I tried talking to multiple people too, but it was the same result. I'm not sure what to do in order to make friends for my next year. Do you have any advice for me? Thanks, bro. I kind of answered a similar question to this in my previous episodes of Cooking Up Advice, but this one's kind of different, and I have a little bit of a different thing to say. Um, Your friends of like three years started to make fun of you out of nowhere. Now, me with my friends, I make fun of my friends all the time. They make fun of me all the time. We always are crapping on each other, but we just don't care. I'll go up to my friend and I'll be like, bro, you are so ugly. And they won't care, you know what I mean? But there's certain friend groups that don't do that, and I understand that. And that's one of your friend groups, you know? You guys never really did that. You never really crapped on each other. But right when they started to do it, you didn't like it, and then you guys fell out. Now, you didn't tell me much, but if the situation was they started being so rude to you, and you were like, dude, stop, and they continued to be rude to you, so you stopped hanging out with them, that's bad. You know, that's horrible. And if it went like that then that's good that you stopped hanging out with them. I see a lot of situations with these emails because I read these emails all the time. People send me emails, I read them, and I only pick some of the best ones to put in the videos. And this was a great one, but I read these all the time. And I see a lot of situations where people try to go out and change themselves to be friends with people or they try to go be friends with the most popular kids in the school. And that's just not what you should do. I honestly think you shouldn't go out of your way to try to make friends. I feel like you should just do what you do Be you, do what you enjoy, and people who enjoy the same things and who want to be your friend will gravitate towards you. I say you should chill out, you know, just be you. Once you get your new schedule, ask around, say, oh, who's in this class in third period, stuff like that. You find out who's in your classes, then you go to school for a couple months, you know. You'll probably find a couple friends through classes, and then once you find a couple friends, You'll meet their friends, and then once you meet their friends, you'll meet their friends, and it'll keep going, you know what I mean? That's how I got some of my friends. I just was myself, and people gravitated towards me, and I gravitated towards people that I enjoyed, and I made friends.